So Sean and I decided with some pushing from some of our friends that the next recipe that we were going to do for you guys is jambalaya. We decided that we were going to do this and record it because there's a lot of different steps where we kind of have to sit and wait and I didn't think you really wanted to listen to me talk for like two hours. So we're going to do a little time lapse. So you're going to see some of me talking and cutting out. So this first section here, I'm going to start warming up some oil in the pot. I'm going to turn it up to medium high heat. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. So while this is heating up, I'm going to talk to you about what I'm doing here. So jambalaya, Sean and I went to um, New Orleans. And um, every time we go, like I said in the last one I did, the last cooking demo I did, we like to take cooking classes. We like to learn about different foods in the different regions that we go. So we've been to New Orleans twice and we've done cooking classes there. Well, this last time we actually learned to make jambalaya. Yay. So tonight that's what we're going to make. Jambalaya, what we're going to need is I put about two tablespoons of oil in here. We're going to do eight ounces of tasso pork, about a pound of skinless chicken thighs. So if you can buy the stuff with chicken uh, with the skin on it, you just need to cut it off. Um, you can use chicken breast too if you prefer. Um, the thighs kind of have a little bit more um, dark meat and a little bit more fat on it, so you might get a little more flavor out of it. Um, we're going to use eight ounces of andouille sausage, um, about two tablespoons of kitchen bouquet, which is the um, vegetable seasoning like I used in my last recipe, about eight cups of chicken broth or stock. You can make it at home or buy it, um, about a pound of parboiled rice. I know everybody's thinking, what is parboiled rice? That's what they call converted rice. It's basically brown rice that's made into white rice. It's um, steamed and um, dried and milled, and then it kind of looks like white rice. It's not impossible to find. We have found it in stores here on occasion, but usually we order it off Amazon. Um, it does make a bit of a difference when you cook with it, so you want to make sure that if you can find it, try to use it. Um, then we're going to be doing the Holy Trinity in here, and that's going to be celery, green bell pepper, and onions. And that's going to go in there, and that's going to cook down and caramelize. And that's where we're going to take our break, because it's going to take a good 8 to 10 minutes to get that caramelization done. And then um, at the end, we're going to add in about a cup of parsley and two to three stalks of green onion. So. We will make sure we post the actual recipe in while we're doing this. So if you have any questions, you can um, send a message to me or Sean. Okay, so this has gotten nice and warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the celery. That was four stalks. One large green bell pepper. And one onion. And that's all going in the pot. Mr. Sous Chef, you can take my stuff. All right, so as this is cooking down a little bit, I'm going to talk a little bit and then we'll probably do our special um, time work for you. So, what kind of ta what's tasso ham? It's basically smoked ham. Um, and a Dewey sausage is a sausage that's kind of native to Louisiana. Um, most people think it's really spicy, but it really isn't. At least the stuff that we get from there is not. So we order from a place called um, Jacob's World Famous Anna Dewey, right here. We'll send you the link and a copy, or I'll paste in a picture of their website. You can order this directly from them and they will mail it to you all vacuum packed and everything. It is amazing. It makes a huge difference. But I can tell you that we have used this and we've used smoked ham that we've gotten at the grocery store, and we've used the uh, Anna Dewey sausage that you kind of get um, from Farmer John. You can use that too. Um, just make sure that if you are using the real stuff that you're gonna get from Louisiana, that you actually take the paper off of the Anna Dewey sausage. It doesn't taste too good if you leave it on there, trust me. Um, so that actually needs to be pulled off before you chop it up. The ham, basically, it's just, it's just smoked, so you're just gonna cut it up. So you can do either or, whichever works for you. And this is starting to sizzle in here. 
The other thing I need to add in here is Cajun seasoning. So we get this Cajun seasoning. Cajun power, yeah. Um, we get this um, from Amazon. So we got our first bottle when we were in New Orleans, but now we order it off of Amazon. So you can get this, it's pretty inexpensive, but it mixes all those flavors together. So go kind of light on it. Um, you can always add more later, but it's harder to make it less spicy. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit in here for flavor, cause you know Danielle, she is a spice wimp. And then I'm also gonna add three good pinches of salt. So pinch one, pinch two, pinch three. And the reason why you're putting the salt in there is the salt is going to let the onions and the other things, it's gonna pull the fluids out of it and it's gonna allow it to caramelize a little bit better. So that's why you want to, that's why you always get told to salt things while you're sauteing them. So it smells like green onions, onions and celery right now. Um, so once you get everything prepped, the chicken itself, you're going to go ahead and cut it up and put it in a bowl. Um, if you like spicy, you can put some hot sauce in, like some sriracha sauce on there. And you can put some more of that Cajun seasoning on there and just let it linger and let it meld together until we're ready to cook it. So the first thing we're going to do is get this nice and caramelized and then we'll be adding in the um, sausage and the ham and let that mingle in together for a little while and then we'll add the chicken in and then everything kind of gets added together and um, boiled all together for a little bit. So one other thing, we're doing this in a regular stock pan and that's because I have an induction stove top. I am not one of those lucky souls that have a gas stove. If you have a gas stove and you have a cast iron pot, this is made for you. I am very jealous and I will be coming to your house to fix this. This tastes so much better when it comes out of a cast iron pot, believe it or not. So if you have those things, let me know. I will come over and personally give you a lesson. So right now, I think we're gonna do our special time work and I will see you, or you'll be seeing the pot in a few minutes. Hi everybody, so this is what the caramelization looks like. It's okay if you see a little caramelization on the bottom, but see how much that's reduced down to the amount that you put in there? This is what you wanna see. This is where you wanna go. So at this point, we're gonna add in the anadouille sausage and the ham. And when this heats up, we're gonna render some of that fat in there so all that stuff that's caramelized on the bottom is gonna come up and it's gonna mingle in with our Royal Trinity that we started caramelizing in there. This is gonna happen for five minutes. So what I want you to do at this point is go ahead and set your kitchen timer. Make sure it's set for five minutes. And we're gonna go back to our time warp. See you guys in five minutes. Hi everybody. Now we've time lapsed again. It's been about five minutes. I set my timer, I have about 10 seconds left. We have the anadouille sausage and the tasso ham in here. And if you notice, the caramelization is starting to come off because of some of the fat, there was my timer. Um, some of the fat's being rendered out of there and it's releasing all that caramelization off the bottom of the pan. So let me tell you, Sean told me when we went back to our last little time warp, this is his favorite smell of this whole recipe, is smelling that andouille sausage and that smoked tasso ham in here. It smells amazing. Okay, so what's the next step? We're gonna put in this chicken. This chicken's been chilling for a little bit here. You can put in some hot sauce. Um, they recommend crystal hot sauce. You can put in your sriracha, whatever you want, and some seasoning, some of that Cajun seasoning. We're gonna pour that right in this pot. 
We're also going to put in our garlic, which you will see how much you need. And again, I'm using what's already chopped, so I use a little bit more. And this is gonna cook for about two minutes. So while I'm stirring this up and letting this cook up a little bit, cause you wanna kinda of cook that chicken a little bit before we put all the rest of the ingredients in, cause it is gonna boil, so your chicken's gonna get cooked. So let me get that stirred up here. I want to talk to you about some wine. So, you know me and Sean, we like wine a lot. We drink a lot of wine. And anyone that knows us knows we drink a lot of wine. So what should you eat with spicy food? A nice dark red. So what Sean and I have chosen to drink tonight, this is from Klein Family Winery. This is Cashmere Black. It is a dark red blend. It's very nice. It's really good with uh, spicy food. So a dark red is the best to eat with your spicy foods. So as we're getting in here, we're getting, we're seeing some color on this chicken. It's starting to cook through. Just mix that up. We're gonna do that for about two minutes and you know, I've looked at the time on the clock. We have about another minute to go. And once we get to this point, we're gonna be adding our rice and our chicken broth. And then we're gonna start boiling and that's where we're gonna go to another time lapse. Because what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that all that fluid is going to boil down into what we call looks like little islands. And we're gonna show you pictures of that so you know exactly what we're talking about. We're gonna add um, our, all of our chicken broth in, which is six cups of chicken broth or chicken stock in here with our rice. And we don't wanna disturb it or stir it. Please resist the urge from doing that because it's gonna make it taste so good. Trust me, it'll be worth it in the end. So we're gonna keep on stirring this up a little bit so we can get this chicken, kind of get some of the, the edges cooked on that chicken. And we're also with the chicken, we're adding a little bit of um, moisture in with the chicken. So it's releasing all of that stuff that we caramelized on the bottom of the pan. So that's all being incorporated into this jambalaya. That's what makes it taste so good, you guys. It's amazing. And I know I love that word. I realized that last night when I watched my YouTube. I like the word amazing. Because it is. It is. It truly is. Alright. So we have our two minutes in here. And the one thing I didn't talk about is this amazing little spatula I have here. It is a bit curved if you can see and it's dark on the end. It's not 100% necessary for this dish because this is what they call a roux spoon. And maybe Sean will end up doing our, um, our recipes from New Orleans that require a roux spoon. But I wanted to, to channel my inner Louisiana and my inner New Orleans cook, so I used my roux spoon to mix this up. So the next thing that we have to do in here is we need to add our chicken broth which is six cups. I've already measured out two here. So I'm putting that in. And then I'm using a whole nother thing of stock here, which is four cups. I already know that, so I'm gonna put all that in. Kinda like watching paint dry, right? Getting it in there. All right, I'm gonna make sure this gets turned up to high because I want it to boil. And then I'm also gonna put in my rice, my parboiled rice. So this is one pound or two and a half cups of parboiled rice. That's gonna go right in there. I'm only gonna give it one stir to make sure that everything gets incorporated in there. The last thing that I'm going to get in there is my kitchen bouquet, which is my vegetable soup mix. And that I'm going to um, put in what I have in my recipe of 
sorry about that, two tablespoons. And that's going in there. And again, if anyone saw my last Facebook Live, I'm using Vegeta, but you can use any um, vegetable soup mix or um, bouquet. That's really what it is. I'm going to mix that in. Make sure that everything's mixed in really well. So now the next step really is to bring this up to boil. So I'm going to put the top on and I'm going to wait for it to boil. And this is another time lapse because it's going to take a little while. If you're using a uh, gas stove top and you have a cast iron skillet, this may take less time. Our induction stove tops don't get quite as hot. So you need to let this boil and we're going to kind of come back in. We're going to fade back in. And you're going to get to see what the islands that we're talking about look like. And that's the point where you're going to turn off the heat and you're going to wait. But really what you need to do is get this boiling and then you need to put the top on and let it sit. So I will see you guys in a little bit. So this is where we're starting to get to our rapid boil. We want to let this keep boiling until we get to what we call the islands and that's what we're going to show you next. So it's been about 15 minutes and um, this isn't quite there yet but it's starting to get there. You can kind of see in here where you're seeing um, the bubbles coming in between the rice but here we still have a lot of liquid. So we're waiting for some of that liquid to come through. We want everything to look like this. So we're going to give it a little bit more time and we will fade back in when that's done. So this is pretty much where you want to be. You kind of see how you see some of the rice in here and you see a little bit of liquid around the edges here. This is kind of where we want to be. So we're going to put our tripod back up over here. All right, so the most... Ready at all. There I am. Hi, everybody. Okay, so we hear that boiling. We're getting all that extra liquid off the edges. So what you want to do now is you want to flip off the heat Put your lid on and don't touch that puppy for 30 minutes. Yes, if you have a husband or you have an inkling to stir that thing, don't do it. 30 minutes. I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. Here we go. What are we going to see? Look at that amazingness. And I'm going to take my trusty spoon here and I'm going to move this around, mix it up a little bit. The rice is fully cooked now. It smells really good, you guys. You can smell the chicken, you can smell the sausage, you can smell the smoked ham. It's amazing smelling. I'm trying to not use that word, but I did it anyway. So what are we going to do? What's the last thing to do? As you can see right here, we have our parsley on my sous chef back there who was kind enough to chop this up. We're going to put about a cup of this in. He did a little bit more than that, so I'm probably going to put all this in. I'm going to mix that in there. We don't want it to wilt up, so that's why we're putting it in at the end. And we're going to mix that in here. And the last thing and if you know anything about Cajun cooking they love green onions love 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 they even dry them you can buy them dried in the grocery store in in Louisiana we're gonna put some green onions on here I've chopped up more than two or three stalks that's what's in the recipe but I like green onions too kind of gives green onions are good because they're not so oniony especially if you just use the green ends of those fresh green onions and you can mix those up. You can also put some on top when you serve it. 
So we're just going to mix that in here. And it adds some color into this too, that green, beautiful, vibrant color. And then all you got left, people, is to eat. So here's to you. Have a good evening. Have a nice good glass of dark red wine because it grows great with spicier foods. If this is not spicy enough for you, you can add some more of that Cajun seasoning. You can add Tabasco, you can add Sriracha, whichever works for you. But enjoy your evening and enjoy your jambalaya. Good night.